Greg Siegel from Codable, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a label and a button inside Python 3.0. So the first thing you want to do is open up CodeRunner or your various Python script. And the first thing you want to do in order to create this is first type in import, then SYS, then a comma, and a space, and then a capital T, K-I-N-T-E-R. Okay, so now we've imported our framework, we just want to zoom in so you can guys can see it. Okay. And after we run that we want to go to our next line and type in K T capital T. There we go. We can automatically just press enter and it will do it for us. Dot label with a capital L. After we've done that we can do brackets open. Uh, text equals um, speech marks open and we're going to type in welcome. Do a little exclamation mark there as well. Okay so once we've done that we will close the brackets, do a dot and pack. Once we've done that, we're going to open up our brackets and close them, and then we'll go to the next line. Okay, again, we want to do that capital T, and it's, I can't pronounce it, I think it's T Kinta, I believe. I'm not too sure. Anyway, but you do dot button with a capital B, and we want to open up our bracket again, exactly the same thing as up top, and we just do text equals, the bracket will close for us. Speech marks open, it will close it for us as well. And you want to type in exit. I'll explain what this code is about in um, a few minutes. We want to do a comma right, in, right after the exit. And then we want to type in command equals sys dot exit brackets closed. And then we want to move on to this next one, as you can see there, the brackets close, and we want to do dot pack just like above, and then brackets open, it'll close it for us as well. We want to go to the next line, which is our final line, and we want to do capital T, and then just do enter. And once we've done this, we want to do a dot main loop, and then brackets open, it'll close for us as well. So that's our code done. Now I'm just going to explain each individual bit. Okay, so you've got your framework, which is up here, which you're importing your framework. After that, we've got our label here. Um, this is our label, and then this is the text within the label, and it says welcome, and you'll see that above. Then we've got our frame, um, our button, and then the text within the button. And this is the command, which is going to exit us from the actual program. And then we're just closing the framework off, um, exiting the program. Okay, now if I zoom out and I run the code, as you can see there's no errors like usual, but we can uh, open this, oh, this is our program right here, as we can see it says welcome, just like here within the text, and then we've got exit within the text as well, but this is our button, so within the button it says exit. Now if you click on that, we'll get the nice button action, and it will close the program. So that was all successful. And basically, we can change this, um, just to prove you that, to you that uh, we can change the text within the uh, button and label. So within the label, we could say our program um, dot dot dot. And we can say instead of exit, we could say maybe close program. And if we run it again, it will open. And here we go. We've got our program dot 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 and close program. We click the button and it closes it, just like last time. I'm just going to zoom in for you guys just so you can uh, copy that code. I will put it in the box below. Okay, so today I've taught you how to add label, and not only that, but also to add, add a button to your Python program. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found this useful. Um, if you do like these videos, please comment, please subscribe. Um, and then tell me if you think it's a good idea for me to carry on with these videos. Um, but yeah, I hope you're enjoying them. Uh, thanks for listening. Um, and if you want to, pause the video or copy the code below um, so you can add it to your program. Okay, thanks for listening. I'll see you next time.